Have you ever seen side panels sliding in when you add products to your cart on an e-commerce website? Well, whether you want to enhance your own website or your client's website, that's precisely what I'm going to teach you today. So how do we do that? Let's find out. Hello, I'm your host, Kei Sinio. I'm a digital alchemist. And today I'm going to teach you how to create an off-canvas panel for your online store on your WordPress website. I'm going to show you how to do that with free tools, no matter which WordPress theme you are using. And I will also talk about premium alternatives if you want more features. As usual, you find all the links in the description of this episode and in the companion blog post. So with that out of the way, let's dive in. So first, let's have a look at what we're going to build today. So as you can see here, I have a product page. And if I click on the add to cart button, you're going to see an off canvas side panel with the products. I can close uh, the card and as you can see here, there's um, a basket icon in the top right corner of the window. Now, depending on whether you use the premium or the free version, you will see that the, there are some options that you will have uh, on this panel or that you won't have. But for today's tutorial, we'll look at the free version and then I will talk about the premium features. So for that, we're going to use uh, a WordPress plugin called WooCommerce Sidecar. Now, something that's a bit confusing when you look for a WooCommerce, WooCommerce Sidecar in the WordPress.org repository, you actually need to type WooCommerce Cart. So just make sure it's made by Xudix um, because this is the, um, the plugin we're going to install today. And if we want to look at a quick demo from their website, if I click on Add to Cart, it's going to fly out and open the side card. Now, personally, I don't really like the fly out feature, so I always remove it uh, in the premium plugin. So this is a comparison table between the free and the premium version. As you can see in the free version, you can completely add to cart without a refresh on the product page and you can hide the basket on specific pages. Now on the premium version, you can update the quantity from the side card. You can show shipping, apply coupons, you can um, display cross sales, upsell, and related products. You also get a header menu shortcode that you can use anywhere, like in the navigation, for example. You can select different basket icons or a custom image. You can hide the basket when it's empty. You can add the fly to cart animation that personally I don't I don't like too much, but you know uh, you may like it. And you also get additional styling options. So back in WordPress admin, I've already created a new WordPress install and I've already installed WooCommerce and created some products. Now, this is a tutorial about how to create an off canvas side cart. So I'm not going to go deep into how to install WooCommerce and uh, set up WooCommerce. And the same for the products. I'm not going to explain how to create a product, but it's pretty easy. And there's already a ton of tutorials about it on YouTube. So if you need my help to point you in the right direction, I happily do it. Now, today we want to focus on the WooCommerce side card. And as I've explained previously, you actually need to uh, look for WooCommerce card. So once you're in WordPress admin, go to plugins, add new. And when you do that, you land on this screen. And as you, as you can see here, I've typed WooCommerce card. And this is the first one that comes up. So click on install now. Okay, and once it's installed, uh, you only need to activate it. So click on activate. Okay, so now, as you can see here, the WooCommerce card is installed. Okay, so now we're on the front end of the WordPress install that I've just shown you in the back end, and this is the home page. So I've installed, uh, we've just installed the plugin, and if I refresh the page, we're supposed to see a cards icon appear somewhere in the page, but nothing happens. And that's pretty normal because when you install the plugin, there are a few things you need to set up. So let's go back to WordPress admin, then go to Woo Sidecar. You have um, various tabs. So you have general, style, advanced, and premium. And let's go to the very bottom of the settings page and click on show card baskets. Then click on save settings. Page is, has refreshed. So now we can go back to the front end. And if I refresh the page, as you can see, we can now see the, um, the basket icon in the bottom right corner of the page. Okay, so that works. And if I click on it, it works. Okay, so now let's go to a product page. 
So I just click on the products and I've already created a, a single product page. Now I'm using uh, Astro Pro as a theme and I'm using Elementor Pro, but you don't need that to achieve the, um, the same effect. Now, if you want to have it visually uh, similar to what I'm doing, this is completely custom um, work that you can actually do with Elementor Pro. But as I said, you can just use uh, your WordPress theme, even whether you're using a free theme or a premium one, because actually what this plugin does is it, it only listens to an event and that event is when you click on the add to cart button. So whatever you're using, it's going to work. So let's click on add to cart. And as you can see, it works perfectly. Now, because this is the free version, there's a bunch of options that we don't have. Um, you cannot change the quantity and there are a bunch of different stuff like the coupons that you can apply straight from here, but uh, people can always click on the uh, checkout or view card and they can update. Um, they will be redirected to the, the card page from your theme. So it would be different depending on what you're using, but then they can update the quantity there and they can always do it at checkout also. So it really depends. If you just want the, the functionality to have the off canvas side panel, um, you can go with a free version. Now, if you want to enhance the user experience even more, then you can go with the premium version. Okay, so enough talk. So the first thing I want to change here is, well, I don't really like the, um, the fact that the icon is placed at the bottom right because on many websites now we have either a messenger or chatbot icon or it could be a back to top. So there's a lot of, co of competition for uh, this, uh, this spot in the bottom right corner of the window. The next thing I want to change is I want to make the, um, the background of the icon round. You know, that's just a personal preference. You may want to make it square, but um, yeah, I want to change that. And the third thing is also I want to remove that, um, uh, that shadow in the background. I, I really don't like it. And once again, it's a matter of personal preference. Within the Woo side card option, click on the style tab. Okay, and now we want to change the basket position to top fixed. So I'm just going to save settings. Okay, and now let's go back on the front end and let's refresh the page. Okay, and you can now see that the basket is in the um, top right position. Okay, so that's great. Depending on your theme, you may be able to change CSS in the customizer or in uh, a different spot in your theme options. Now, if you don't have the, the ability to add custom CSS uh, with your theme, you can always stay in the Woosite card plugin and click on the advanced tab. And there you can place your custom CSS here. Now, if you don't know what CSS here, it stands for uh, Cascading Style Sheets. And basically it's, um, it's the code way to change the styling of your website. Now, if you're scared about coding, don't uh, stop this video yet because I'm actually going to give you all the code in the companion blog post. So that there's nothing you need to invent here. Um, you will only need to uh, copy and paste the code that I'm going to provide for you. But still, I'm going to explain the reasoning and how to actually um, style things with CSS. Now, this is not going to be a CSS course, but I believe that some of you may want to know what that code means and actually how you can start looking to change things with the code. So as I've mentioned, you can change and add your uh, custom CSS here. But in my case, I'm using Astro Pro. So I'm going to the customizer and then I have on additional CSS uh, feature. So I can add my custom CSS here and actually uh, look at the changes here in the window if I want to. And I'm just going to refresh the page so that we can uh, see the, um, the basket in the top right position. Okay, so now the basket is, the, is in the top right position. So that's great. Now, let's go back to the additional CSS and how do we start changing uh, the look? So let's go back to the front end and I'm using uh, Google Chrome. So I'm just going to right click, then click on inspect. And uh, once you highlight the different sections on the page, they get highlighted in the left pane. So I'm just going to make sure I've selected 
the icon and then I'm just going to move on the on the various sections until I find the, the section or the element that I want to use. So as you can see, this is the element that I want to change. So when I highlight it here in the right panel, it's um, highlighted in the left panel. So this is what I want. And if I look on the right hand side, I can see all the styles already applied to that element. So I'm going to add a few styles. The first style is the border radius, and this is going to change the way it looks. Uh, zero being square. So if I type zero, as you can see, we now have a square here. But actually, I want um, something more like this. So 50 pixels, which is oval or round. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to actually remove the um, the shadow, so box shadow none. Now it's disappeared, so it looks good, but now it's white on white, so we can't really see it. So I'm just going to change the color code to a light gray. Okay, and now it looks much better in my opinion. You can also click uh, right here on this box here and you can start moving things around to change it, change the color to your liking. So I want my light gray. Okay, I forgot the pound sign. Okay, so that looks good in my opinion. But this is just in the browser. So if I refresh the browser, all the changes are gone. So I'm just going to uh, select and copy all that code. And I'm going to do a command C or control C on a Windows machine to copy it. Now let's go back here and I'm just going to add additional CSS. And as you can see, the changes are reflected. Okay, so let's go back. Now I can refresh the page and the changes should be taken into effect. Yes, so that works perfectly. Okay, the next thing I wanna change is to actually change the um, background of the card icon because it's oval now and I want to make it more round. So once again, I'm going to right click, click on inspect. And actually, uh, the technique I'm going to use is I'm just going to add uh, more margin to the icon here. So once again, I highlight the different elements and this seems to be the one uh, I want to change. So I can see it right here on the right hand side. And what I want to do is to add some left and right margin. So I don't want margin on top and bottom. So that's a zero. And then I want three pixels of left and right margin on the side on the left and right and that's how it looks so looks good to me so let me copy that code now let's go back here and if i paste the code yeah work works fine so now we're going to do a little bit of cleanup because uh, here for the first and the second um, elements there are actually a few um, uh, styling that were already hard-coded uh, in the plugin. So I can remove the top 12. I can remove the position fixed. Okay. And here I can remove the color and the font size. So once again, why am I doing that is because it's already hard coded into the plugin. So we don't want to have uh, duplicates in code. We just want to add the changes in the code to those elements. So that seems to be working. Let's publish. And now uh, if we go back to the front end and we refresh the page, you see that it's still round instead of oval. Now it's a very uh, light gray, so uh, you may not see, see it well enough on screen, but as I said, you can change it to any color that you, that you want. And once again, all you need to do is copy that code from the companion blog post and you will find the link in the description of this episode. So just copy that code and change the, the uh, color code to your liking. We're almost done, but if we look at the way it looks on a mobile, so I'm just going to right click, click on inspect, and then I'm going to click on the devices icon. Okay, so now I can um, emulate an iPhone 6, 7, 8, and as you can see, it's working fine, but you can't see the navigation anymore because the icon comes on top. So yeah, you may just want to um, put the icon back to the bottom right corner of the, of the window, but sometimes this is not an option. So I'm going to show you how we can use CSS to actually 
change the position of this icon. So back in the CSS customizer, we're going to add some code. And actually the technique we're going to use is called media queries. And basically what media que queries does is that you can specify different um, styling, whether you are on a mobile, whether you are on a tablet, on, a, on desktop, or, and even on desktop for various sizes. So I'm just going to copy uh, that code. So it says add media only screen and max width 768 pixels. So basically that means that this code should only be applied, applied to um, devices with a, a maximum width of uh, 768 pixels. So I've used the same technique. Um, I've targeted the uh, basket and I want to give it a position of 70 pixels from the right. So let me publish that. Okay, so now let's go back and let's refresh our page. So currently the icon is near the edge. And as you can see, now you can see the navigation because we've pushed the icon 70 pixels from the right. And if we go back to the desktop version, nothing has changed. Okay, yeah, so it's refreshed. So if you want to see um, how we could also style the desktop version, so let's go back. I'm going to add that code. And instead of 768 pixels, it's going to be um, minimum width this time. And let's select a bigger value. So 1024, actually 25. So publish. And now let's go back. Uh, actually, I need to change the, um, the value. So let's say write 300, well, 400 pixels. Okay. As you can see, it's moved down the road right here. So let me go back. Let me refresh the page. And you can see we've moved the icon here. So we don't really want to do that today, but I just wanted to show you um, how you can play with media queries. If you already know CSS, that's a piece of cake. But if you didn't know and if you're scared by code, I hope that you better understand that it's actually pretty, pretty easy. You just need to get your hands dirty with it, but it's quite fun actually, in my opinion. So let's publish one more time. And there's another thing that I wanted to uh, show you how to do It's if we click on the panel, um, this is the width that you can actually specify in the option. So let's go back to the woo side card options. And this is the container width. So 300, 350 pixels. So that looks good when you're on, on mobile. So let's um, have a look on mobile. Let me refresh the page. Okay. So you can either click on or tap on close or tap um, right here in the overlay spot and it's going to work fine. But when it comes to the, um, the desktop version, what if you want a wider panel? Now, unfortunately, if we go back to the Woo Sidecar options, you cannot specify a different width for uh, the desktop, for the mobile, for the tablet. So once again, we can use media que queries to change that. And I'm going to show you how. So first of all, we want to use the same technique. So I'm just going to right click on the off canvas panel. And I'm going to start to uh, move my mouse around the different elements. And I can see that this is the element I'm looking for. And as you can see here, we can see it's uh, 350 pixels. Now, let me um, get away from the mobile version. So let me click on that. OK, and now let's change it to 450 pixels or 500. As you can see, this is what we want to do. So um, yeah, let's make it 500 pixels. Now, because this is an off canvas, so uh, basically first it's hidden from your browser window. We also want to change the position. So we're just going to match the position of the width of the panel. So in our case, 500 pixels, and we're going to give it a 500, 500 pixels negative value. Okay. So once we're happy with that, we can, happy with that, we can just copy that code. Once again, I'm going to use Command C on a Mac and Control C on a uh, PC machine. And now let's go back to our CSS um, styler. And I'm just going to paste the code. 
So that looks okay, but we actually want to use a, a media query also. Otherwise, we're just going to change the width of the panel for uh, whatever devices we're on. So I'm just going to copy that code here, paste it beneath. I'm going to remove the elements and I'm going to copy the code we've just grabbed from the Google Chrome inspector, make it look nice. And we actually want to target um, a wider version. So I'm going to uh, use the min width value once again with 1025 pixels. Let's hit publish. And now if we go back, so this was the, the one where we didn't save the, um, the values. Okay, so we can see uh, it's wide, it's 500 pixels. And now if we go into mobile mode, it's still 350 pixels because if it was 500 pixels, uh, you wouldn't see this here. It will go all the way across. And actually we can have a look at it right now. Container, 350 pixels. So now we have a nice looking card icon. Uh, on the top right corner, we have uh, a wide enough width for the desktop and it looks good on the mobile too. And if you want to see the difference with the, with the premium one, so this is the free version. And now let's move to the, the premium version. As you can see here, um, you can change the quantity of the, of the items. Uh, and that's Ajax, so it doesn't need to refresh the page. You also have the coupon codes and you can also add all the different options that I mentioned at the beginning of this video that make the difference between the free and the premium version. So if I alternate, this is the free, this is the premium. But as I've explained in the beginning, you can completely do this with free tools if that's a concern for you. Now, if you uh, really want to uh, have more options, have the ability to add your own uh, icons, custom icons, and a bunch of other features, then you may want to go with uh, the premium version. Now, one thing that I haven't mentioned yet is the fact that when you go to the Woo Side Card Style tab, you can actually style a few elements. Now, in the free version, it's pretty limited, so that's why you can use uh, CSS, but if you get the, um, the premium version, this is the premium, ver premium version, you get a lot more control over various elements. So once again, if you're at ease with uh, CSS, then you can pretty pretty much do all of these things with code, but it's also handy and convenient to have all these options in one place. You can just have a look at it and you don't have to go and dig through code to know what you've been doing. So if you're in for uh, more options, um, definitely go for the premium version of Woo Sidecar plugin. So if you're interested by Woo Sidecar Premium, this is the pricing. So for a single website, it's $18, but this is a license for a lifetime. So in my opinion, it's a no brainer. It's pretty cheap. And if your uh, WooCommerce website is important for you, if you want to en enhance the uh, user experience, then as I said, that's a no brainer. Now, if you have a few websites, they have an option for $35, also lifetime. And if you want unlimited sites, so maybe you're a web designer, web developer, you're a freelancer, or maybe you own an agency, then it's 45 bucks for unlimited sites for a li uh, lifetime license. Once again, a no brainer. But if you just want the free version, you know, rest assured that it, it will look really good on your website. And you can actually um, use uh, Astra theme, the Astra uh, free version of the theme with Elementor. And uh, I mean, the, the free version and the free version of this plugin. And your website is going to look gorgeous. Now, if you want to go more in depth and, and you actually need some of the features, then um, yeah you should definitely go with the premium version. So you should now be able to create a gorgeous um, off-canvas side panel for your WooCommerce website. So just let me know in the comments if there's anything that I did not cover and that you have a hard time with. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you now feel confident to create your own off-canvas WooCommerce side card. Now, question of the day. Are you using an alternative to achieve the same results? Now, if that's the case, please let me know in the comments of this episode. And by the way, you'll find the companion blog post on my website, casino.com. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, please like it as it really helps growing this channel. And if you know someone that could benefit from it, please share it now.
If you're not a subscriber yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Now, if you want to brand market and grow your business in the digital age, then make sure you subscribe to my email newsletter so that you never miss a share of digital alchemy, as well as tips, tools, services, and case studies that can help you grow your business online. So that's it for this episode. I hope to see you around. And in the meantime, don't forget to invest in your success.